Time Bank believes in a banking future with more for every entrepreneur. Start paying less and getting more with Time Bank. You've got this. Welcome to another edition of Small Business Evolution. I am Nuntobego Kumete. It's that time of the year. Yes, I am talking about Black November. Online marketplaces like Tekelos experienced a 33 increase in sales in 2022 and recorded more than 3 million visits onto their website. Payfast saw an impressive 24% growth in sales going through its payment gateway. And while Black Friday brings in a boost in sales, it's not always a clear win for SMEs. SMEs. This week, we are going to explore how SMEs can make the most of Black November with the head of growth at Time Bank, Jared Deacon. Jared, thank you very much for joining us. Can you please just share some of the biggest challenges for SMEs when it comes to gearing up for Black November? Perfect. First of all, thank you so much for having me. So I've got five major tips which I just want to discuss with you today. And we're going to start out with standing out from the crowd. So there's a lot of, you know, work it's good, good, that goes around marketing and there's a lot of big organizations that have their specific sales. So how does an SME really stand out from the crowd? We're looking at bookmarking. So ensure that your specific marketing is direct. Your initiatives are focused on quality customer retention. And then, of course, you want to onboard new customers. So you want to ensure that you're looking after your loyal customers, but also onboarding new customers. Um, one of the, the specific parts about standing out from the crowd is ensuring that you know, your supply chain is ready and that you can actually provide the service that you are offering. While bigger businesses may have, you know, deeper pockets for aggressive marketing campaigns during this time, how can SMBs be more strategic um, with the Black November sales? So what I would suggest is select your products very carefully. So be considered, look at what you're best known for. Um, don't, don't also provide some authenticity. So people in, within the SME space, they want to work with you. They're choosing to work with you. They're not going to this nameless, faceless organization. It's about how do you provide this authentic engagement, which is don't raise your prices to then discount them um, to, to try and trick the consumer into engaging with a Black Friday deal. And the, the true ambassadors of your brand will already know what they're looking for and they're looking for what you're best known for. So it's select your items very carefully and ensure that you are staying focused on what you're good at. That's actually uh, a very insightful. In an event um, where SMEs obviously end up losing a lot of stock during this time, um, what are some of the, the remedies um, offered by uh, Time Bank or solutions offered by Time Bank in order for them to sort of grow um, their stock levels? No, thank you for that. So we have a business called Retail Capital, which is part of the Time Bank Group. And this allows people to engage with uh, making sure that their capital is not inundated and overcapitalized within this period. So we allow people to take an advance, a merchant advance, where they can actually work with their cash flow and spread out the risk over a longer period. Now, everyone is so focused on Black Friday and, and Black November, where they must also realize that they need enough cash flow for the entire festive cycle, which runs all the way through to the end of the year. Yes. So retail capital does allow you to work with your cash flow to ensure that you can avoid the overload. What are some of the factors that SMEs should consider when choosing their sale items? Because I think you spoke about that just a bit, but can you just go in deeper on what they should consider? Sure. One, one, of the, one of the big things that they should consider, and I, I mentioned something that they, they're best known for, is that you don't want to compete with every single product. You must look at your specific margin. So sales for the sake of sales isn't a good thing. You must focus on your margin, ensure that you can deliver. And that leads me to my next point is from a service offering perspective, you must be able to deliver on your promises. Now, from an SME perspective, that relationship is so key. So yes, you want to convert customers, but your first impression really counts. So on the e-commerce space, there's a lot of new traffic that comes in. People are looking for deals. They're looking to shop. Make sure that that first impression is really a good one. So when you're engaging with your brand, try and ensure that your service levels are really up to scratch and you can deliver on your promises. Now, Jared, when looking at SMEs, especially uh, those who are heavily present within the online marketplaces, um, 
what are some of these strategies that SMEs can implement into their businesses in order to retain customers as well during this time? There's so much of opportunity here. Yes, definitely. And, and for me, I look at rewarding your specific loyal customers. And, and that is something that I, I just want to reiterate is that these people have invested in your brand. They're the ones that are your brand ambassadors. They're the ones going to be telling their family and their friends about you. So I would suggest at looking at the registered users, seeing if they can maybe have a, an exclusive deals option, a further discount and reward them with an opportunity to engage with you. Uh, we also have another uh, payment opportunity in the the buy now pay later space called more time so you can offer that to your exclusive members to extend their payment terms without being penalized with interest now jared um just before we close off you know in the at the beginning of the conversation we were just trying to touch on just the challenges or the misconceptions that smes have when looking at black november um just for those who probably got it wrong now and who are looking to get it right for next year what are some of the tips that you can share on this platform so I would say is you need to be 100% focused. Now, if you can have a preemptive bookmark so you can start your campaigns earlier in the month or earlier in the year and let people know exactly what is what is coming. Communication is key. If you are going through any stock delays, if you are going through any supply chain issues, just ensure that you are speaking to your customers, you are clear, you're concise, and your brand will shine through. That service offering is very imperative, and we want to just make sure that it's it's a friend and family thing. You, you, you are creating a relationship with your user, and that, I believe, is the most important thing within the SME space, is to ensure that you are providing a service that a big face this organization cannot do, which I, I definitely suggest that all SMEs look into doing. Well, not to bring in news of doom and gloom. Um, there's still time, you know, for SMEs to get it right. Um, but for those who are trying to look forward for the upcoming year, communication is key. Thank you so much, Jared, for joining us. Thank you so much for having me and for the wonderful show. That was Jared Deacon, Head of Growth at Time Bank, sharing some tips on how SMEs can make the most of Black November to boost visibility and sales. Time Bank believes in a banking future with more for every entrepreneur. Start paying less and getting more. With Time Bank, you've got this.